Hello there guys, it's me and Stable Voltage and welcome back to episode 7 of Stellaris. I really want this system over here, the Kota system, because it has a lot of energy credits. Although it's probably not worth settling the planet. I mean, we could settle the arid world there. There's actually a few. Um, we've got 1A, which is a 9-tile planet, it's quite small. Uh, we've got Kota 3. Now that's quite a nice planet, but there's a lot of tiles that would need clearing. Yeah, Kota 3 is definitely the better planet there to settle, but there's just so much junk on that world, it is absolutely untrue. And that, funny enough, that would probably be the best tile to settle because of the production efficiencies there. Maybe we do need another colony ship. Maybe we need to get our fifth planet up and running as quickly as possible. Uh, we, we do have a little bit of a deficit on energy credits, but I think we can, uh, I think we can deal with that. Um, let's take our um, ships and go and sort of deal with some of these aliens because they are getting in the way a little bit. Of course, we're now losing money because we are no longer docked up. But that's fine. That is something that we expected to happen. So I wanted you to get back home, but I don't think you can actually find... Well, you can actually now. You're going to plot a long way around. Although you are going to try and go through areas that do have ships in them. So I think we're just going to get you to stop. And we'll see if we can sort of make it safe for you to come through here. Now then, our construction ship, I would like you to, um, let's actually zoom in, what we want to do, are we on the right planet here? No, we're not, of course. Uh, let's zoom in with the construction ship, pause up, and I want you to get the energy first, that's the important thing. Uh, where's the energy coming from? From this one. So if you could be so kind as to go and sort that out, and... <laughs> We've got to take those as well, haven't we? But before we do, we will Systems go to our home world. We could actually upgrade some of these and get more power from them, which might be worth doing. Just upgrading these power plants. I know I wanted to save up for a colony ship, and I'll be honest, I still do. But if we're going to be running more colonies, we are definitely going to need a lot more um, power. So let's get those up and running first while we save up for a new colony ship. And you have uh, finished that, have you? Okay, let's get you back home then. Get our science ships upgraded. I'm assuming we can upgrade them. Yeah, it's not going to cost an awful lot. 8.75 minerals per each. And what that should be doing now, if we look on our science ships, uh, that should now give them the gravimetric sensors, which will improve their uh, speed at doing research. So that's all good stuff. Fine. Okay. Um, have we engaged? We have. These These look like the um, ancient mining drones, and indeed they are. So we should be able to take these out nice and easily. They're not going to be a big problem. We haven't surveyed this system either. Now, there is a mining station there as well, but that, that can't move, so we'll deal with these guys first. And um, they're hardly doing any damage to us at all. It's all just pinging off the shields. There we go. They're sorted out. Now we'll just go and take down the uh, the mining station itself. Observatory's done. Uh, new research. Uh, more research alternatives could be useful. Uh, do we really need any of these things immediately? Probably not. Improved deflectors could be really useful. Let's go for those. It's, it's one of the higher tier techs. It might take a little bit longer, but it's probably worth having. Okay, we've got a few problems here. First of all, right, we're not building these things and I wanted to. So let's go and build a mining station here and build a mining station there. I know I'm trying to save up to build a colony ship. Um, but you've also got to remember that the more mining stations we have, the more quickly we're actually going to get additional um, minerals. So, And the mining station is about to go down. There we go. So we've got some stuff we could go and have a look at here. But um, let's go and uh, visit this planet. What have we got here? Crystalline Entity. We might be able to deal with this. One of our Corvettes is a little bit beaten up, but I think we can manage that. We do have a higher force limit as well now. We will probably want to get a few more spaceports around, so we're certainly not going to stick with the number that we have. And then we can bring our science ships back down to get fixed. In fact, one of our science ships is... You're back home. We want you to uh, upgrade. Go back to our fleet. It's taking me to the... Whenever I hit E, it always takes me to the wrong place. So we've got one lot of crystalline entities up here. Let's go and deal with those guys. 
as soon as they're out of the way. Oh, we've got another planet starving again. It's probably the same one, to be honest. But we'll sort that out soon enough. Can't really do it until we're making some positive energy credits. But we are doing these upgrades on the home world. As soon as they're done, we will have some positive credits to spend. So one of our Corvettes is taking quite a lot of hits here. Uh, they've only got the uh, the three vessels. They're already down to two. One. Zero. We actually managed to survive that. Let's get home. So let's zoom out here. You can now safely return home. That's what you're going to do. You are going to go and um, survey this system. And you're also then going to research this and research that. Fantastic. So, starvation. Oh, it's actually our home planet that's uh, starving. Interesting. Uh, okay. Let's go and grab a hydroponics farm. Oh, they don't want um, uh, an embassy with us anymore. That is fine. I don't care. So if you as you need food to enable your uh, planet to grow, basically to allow your population to grow. If you have if you have negative food, then your population starts to die and it doesn't grow. And also they become uh, unhappier as well. Uh, so we are going to need to upgrade some of these tiles. Let's go ahead and get another hydroponics farm there. It's all costing us energy credits, but we're trying to recover that as we go along. So it shouldn't be too bad. Um, you're returning home so we can get you upgraded. That is fine. Then you'll have quicker survey speed as well. You will notice sometimes the credits will show plus zero. Well, it'll show plus zero or negative zero. And sometimes it'll be red. Sometimes it'll be white, even when it's on zero. Uh, I think the reason for that is it's actually just rounded off. So we are actually gaining point, uh, 0 0.88, 0 0.87. It's going down slowly, but we are still making a gain, even if it's a very, very small gain. Uh, we are going to want to build a colonial ship at some point, though, because I really do want to get that... Um... Yeah, we'll research that anomaly. I really do want to try and grab this system here. I mean, our borders might stretch there naturally, but I'm not convinced... Um, and getting the energy from it would be fantastic. So I'm going to leave the um, construction vessel there for now. Let's go and sort the research out. Orbital hydroponics farms. Uh, we can increase our naval capacity here by 10%. That's always useful. But we do want to be able to remove this dangerous wildlife, actually. Let's go ahead and get that one sorted out. Now, I'm also going to go to my home world, to the spaceport. And now we have some extra modules. I did originally want the observatory because that additional science output is fantastic. But the um, the plus three food modifier, I think we just need to go and uh, get that, really. It's, it's an arid planet, so it doesn't have a great amount of uh, stuff there. As we upgrade the spaceport, more modules will become available. We'll be able to load more stuff onto it, so that is fine. We do have the Ruthir system. Again, a couple of minerals there, but not really anything else worth building on it for. But yeah, this is definitely uh, one that I want here. And I am consider considering colonizing at least one of those worlds. It appears that the asteroid the CUS um, Githian, I think that one is, and surrounding debris originates from... That doesn't make any sense. It appears that the asteroid CUS Githian and the surrounding debris originates from a former planet. Uh, deep within the centre of the asteroids, we can find traces of extremely valuable minerals. There's also hints of bacterial life that has now died in the vacuum of space. This shows us that the celestial body once bore the promise of life. Oh, great. So that adds an X-planet modifier to somewhere with a lot of extra um, gems. Oh, lots of extra minerals. Where was that, though? Was that here? Oh, wow. Look at that. And that's an Arctic world. So we're not going to be able to colonise. Oh, maybe we can. Arid, Arctic... No, it's on the opposite end of the scale. Uh, imagine, but if we could, if our borders stretch there, we can always build an outpost. I mean, eight eight minerals is going to be fantastic for us. Absolutely amazing. Um, but this this is probably a better better one to colonise. So we will be building a uh, colonial ship at some point. We are still starving on the homeworld. 
Um, we are working the food tiles. We've just got to wait for things to build, though. That's pretty much what the problem is right now. Just waiting for those uh, for those buildings to finish. We are starting to make positive energy credits. Not by much, but, but by a little. That is fine. Um, you have now finished whatever it was you were working on. Is there something there? No, it was just how I uh, selected you. You appeared as the exclamation mark. Okay. So, in that case, let's get you up to here. And then we can go and work on that debris up there. The only problem with working on debris... Uh, is that when you are working on debris, it actually ties up your uh, engineering scientist, which is a little bit of a pain. Yeah, not too sure if our borders are going to stretch there naturally. But we should be getting some good food from this planet anyway. Not an awful lot of energy on this planet, which is a little bit unfortunate. Um, construction complete. There we go, we're no longer starving, that's good. It's going to be building some more buildings now anyway. Not too sure which ones it's working on. Everything's going to end up sort of turning around. There we go. That should get... We're now losing uh, energy credits, but the food problem is sorted out. It's because another building's just come online. You do have to be very, very careful spamming out buildings. They do get quite expensive. And uh, we want to go and research that. We're heading over there. Everything else, I think, has System been survey. investigated. Survey complete, and that is that one. Well, what are you doing? We'd like you to go and research that, if you wouldn't mind. Any other aliens that we need to wipe out, or are we relatively safe? I guess we could go down and have... Well, that's going to be within their borders, so it's their problem now, as far as Incoming I'm concerned. Uh, alien vessels down at this one. We could go and have a look at that. Got a transmission. Um, civilian access. Uh, I'm going to decline, because civilian access means they can send research vessels through, but I think it also means they can send colony ships through as well. I don't really want them to be doing that. Um, yeah, I don't like the idea of that at all. Let's go down and see if we can sort that ship out, or those vessels, whatever they are. 666 energy credits, but not for long, because we are losing them. There we go. It is, um... It is ticking down. So do I really want to go and colonise that? I think I do. So let's go and make sure that our spaceport builds as a colony ship. And remember, having extra worlds is, is quite useful because you can build more spaceports and more spaceports is higher force limit and higher force limit is stronger army. So let's go and make sure um, we build a spaceport here as well. And we can always build some, like, solar panels on those spaceports. I don't think we have access to them yet, but we'll be able to get the tech for them eventually. And um, building solar arrays on the spaceports means that you make more energy, which debris is quite a good analyzed. thing to do. Analyze the debris. That gives us some research. Construction so everybody's debris still busy. Analyzed. Right, okay, what's going on here? More debris analyzed. That is fine. You have now finished that. All these, I think, have been um, explored. A few systems up here that are all close together. Let's go and start working on some of those. And uh, we should have now entered the system with... Oh, wow. Those guys are quite strong. These are the space amoebas, I think. Yeah, these guys are very, very strong. These can do quite a lot of damage. I'm quite happily going to leave those guys alone for now. I don't need to go and survey that planet. It's not worth getting my fleet destroyed for. So we're not going to go and bother. Let somebody else deal with them. If only we were making some positive cash. I mean, we will do eventually. Once we can go and grab some of these planets here. We want to do it before they grab one and their borders expand. And then we can't grab them ourselves. I mean, Hicksaw would be quite nice as well, because there's potential for a decent amount of energy credits from there. But look at this place. This place is fantastic. Eight minerals. Unfortunately, there's not really a, a planet there that is worth settling, but... I think we're going to do all right here. We definitely... Right, okay. So we've got some more debris analysed. That's given us some more progress. And towards mass drivers as well. So you finish surveying that... Where do we want to send you to? Let's go and actually have a look at these systems that are all around where we are. 
always zooms me into the wrong place when I hit E. I don't know why that is. Uh, let's unpause. Make sure I hit the right button. Uh, again, we could be getting some more science out of here. We probably should do, but... Right, where did this happen? That happened up there, did it? Now, that is a problem. That is a um, an issue that my fleet could deal with. There we go. Let's go and work our way up there. Stop hitting E. Don't know why I'm too worried about surveying these systems. It's not like I can really grab them. Means our science vessel gets a little bit sort of tied up. Any other real projects that we can work on at the moment? Not really. So don't want to worry about that too much. Are you going to be safe there? Oh, you're going to the next system out. That's fine. We've almost our borders have almost expanded enough to be able to grab Kota, but I'd like to secure it myself, and hopefully our borders will blob out, and we can grab um, what's this one, Velderarm as well. So we'll start working on that. Okay, so we have now um, completed our research here, and we've unlocked the Aurelian plant, and uh, we can now add, actually now reveals a resource. Um, Ship modifier, explosive weapon damage plus 10% if we build one of those. Uh, but now this reveals a new resource. This is Aurelium Ore. And you can see, we've, if you actually look here, it says we've got one source of Aurelium Ore. And the reason for that, there's some here on um, Tiffin. And it's actually on this asteroid where we already had a mining station. So we get that automatically, which is fantastic. So this is our engineering research. We could go for better armor. Uh, we could go for space torpedoes. We could go for deep core mining. Um, do we really need the mineral storage capacity? I don't think we do. Um, let's go for defense platforms. They can be quite useful. So you can build like space stations and things within star systems that uh, you can use to protect little weak things like your mining stations and stuff like that so they are worth having um you are sitting up here because our fleet's going up to go and destroy this guy we do need to sort of keep building up towards the force limit as well because then hopefully we will be able to go and do something we'll keep building all of these um spaceports wherever we can we're, we're about to finish another one um over here on the amber and that will increase our force limit it's currently at 28. We'll see what that goes up to. Is it done yet? Not quite. We've got a colony ship. Let's go and send that over there. Come on, hurry up and finish. How long have you got left? There we go. Um, still only 28. From spaceports, 18. That should have gone up. Maybe it went up instantly. Right. Let's go and sort these things out one at a time. So what have we got here? You guys. You guys are easy to beat. Not bothered about you at all. Then we can get our science ship over here. Let's just zoom out. Get our construction ship to go over to there. Because as soon as we can start building there, we'll be able to... Wow, look how much money we're losing. That is amazing. <laughs> but we'll go and uh, we'll go and put some mining stations there. Hostile Let's go and take these guys out. Again, that should be relatively straightforward to do. One of them's down already. We've lost shields on one of our ships. It's taken a tiny bit of damage. They're down to a single unit. And we're fine. You guys go home and repair. So we've got a lot of ships at the moment. Not actually doing anything. Uh, we've got the... Karsten there. You can go and survey that system. And the colony ship has arrived. You are going to... Now then, which one did we say it was? Was it Kota 3? Yeah, Kota 3. So you are going to colonize Kota 3. And I'm going to go for this tile here. There's me still being logged into Steam and Marbles here playing Civ. Uh, so I'm going to um, go and put it on this tile here because that means we'll be able to get the production from these tiles eventually. We will have to clear them. Getting rid of these sinkholes is going to be uh, of prime importance. 
So we will be doing that. Let's zoom out of there. We've got another science ship that isn't really doing an awful lot. Um, let's go and survey this one. Uh, we've encountered uh, alien vessels in Gamma Draconis system. Strange objects have been flagged as Theta aliens. Well, we should certainly go and um, research them so we can make contact with them. Our construction vessel isn't doing anything at the moment, but it won't until we've made the claim over here. And the first thing I'm going to do with our construction is vessel is... Um, oh, where, where was that one? There, typically. Uh, we can go and survey that one then. It's still going to try and evade them, and then we'll have to go back around, which is quite annoying. Uh, survey that system, then we'll go back there. In fact, this is our... Um, we can just come straight back here and deal with this. Get these guys to stop. And get over there. We'll go and sort those guys out while we're here. Might as well get that done. Also got a hostile fleet over here as well. Which we probably need to sort out. So we're going to deal with those. Um, we can now start building here. So let's take our construction ship. And the first thing that we want to do is try and get as much of this um, these energy credits as possible. Uh, why am I only seeing five? I thought there was more. No, there was only five. Okay, that's fine. In fact, I'm just going to tell him to um, build all of the mining stations there. And hopefully he'll get on and do that in a relatively sensible order. Uh, we'll research the anomaly because there's only a 5% chance of it failing. Now then, what do we have here? Uh, we've got a few things. These are pretty much all crystalline entities, but they're all relatively weak. So let's go and take all of these out before we end the video. Void clouds. An investigation into a peculiar cluster of debris and space dust has yielded surprising results. In its particular... It uh, it is a particulate cloud bristling with a powerful charge of unknown origin that has no business exhibiting simple reflexive actions, let alone movements with purpose. And yet it does. There is something undeniably ominous about the hazy subject of relayed video feeds. Perhaps there are things in the universe we should not tangle with. And that um, initiates a special project in which we can go and do some research. So, we're engaging these fleets again... Most of the damage they're doing is energy weapons. And another event. Brilliant. Limbo. Uh, the signal originates from the remains of an antenna-like structure. Exploratory probes were dispatched from the CUS Githian to the surface to investigate the matter more closely. What science officer David Zane found was a cavernous vault that, while easily pried open, was evidently the last safe house and refuge of some long-dead race of aliens. While reasonably technologically advanced, it seems they never reached the stars and perished to some planet-wide natural disaster. The vault is immense, housing thousands upon thousands of black boxes that the CUS Githian has determined to be data storage devices. A special project has been prepared to decode their contents. Okay, so we get yet another thing we can do here, um, which we need to send a science ship to. So before we do that, we'll go and finish off all these battles. So there's one lot of them wiped out. And we'll start heading towards the next group. Now you will see that our shields do actually recharge. So that is the good thing about, about shields. Much better than hull. Obviously, we, we have taken some hull damage. But the thing is, it'll always be the same ships that gets hit. It's always that Situation. same Corvette that's the top of the list. And it's always that same Corvette that takes damage first. So even if we wait for his shields to fully recharge, he will still take the first group of hits. And that's why I wish there was some sort of way to be able to change the formation around. So what have we got here? Void Unclouded. The Void Clouds are, as far as the Chinor researchers can tell, among the oldest entities in the universe. They seem to have originated just a scant few billion years after matter was known to have first appeared. The tremendous forces of the young cosmos making something out of nothing, they would have been stars once, but were not. Explaining their apparent animal intelligence is more difficult, but the answer might lie in the abnormal abnormally strong electromagnetic fields that keep them together. Another product of their primordial beings beginnings. Why can't I read? It is not inconceivable that given enough time, the circulation of its strange stardust and gravitic, uh, gravitic fields aligned in a flexible approximation of neural pathways. Moreover, the clouds seem to be receiving impulses from one another. It's not outright communicating uh, light years apart. 
Quantum entanglement is suspected to play a role in this phenomenon. Um, okay, so we'll give ourselves another research thing here. Let's finish these guys off. We're probably going to lose this Corvette. Wouldn't be one little bit surprised if that happens. Yeah, we did actually survive, and I'm surprised by that. So, the reason we're constantly getting all these situation logs updated is because it, we're just getting all these sort of like special missions to do, but we're also getting these... Um, uh, these things to survey the debris. Now, the Githian isn't doing anything at the moment, and the question of that is why. Um, where are you, Githian? You are over here, so you can go and research that project. Looks like we have lost a ship, actually. We're down to 13, so we did actually lose that really weak one. It's a little bit of a shame. We definitely need to build some more ships. So I'm just going to go and take these last uh, this last group out. I'll send these guys back to repair. Our colony's almost done as well. Uh, we've got another world starving once again. We're going to need to sort that one out. Situation and we've got a few system update. surveys to do. But let's see if we can go ahead and get that ship down before we lose another Corvette. We just managed it. Send those guys home to repair. So thanks a lot for watching, guys. I hope you are still enjoying Stellaris. I'll see you on the next video. And until then, goodbye for now.